everyone, this is Montez.com, and we are actually here. We are at the event. I know you've been tuning in on the YouTube and watching uh, some of the content that I've been sharing with people, and we actually are here at the Coffee Wire House. I'm going to walk outside and show you what the building looks like. It's a whole lot of stuff, actually. It's pretty intriguing. Uh, so this is our setup. This is what we're looking at. Gary Wayne here, he's inside the building. I will be interviewing him. My name is Gary Wayne and I wrote a book called The Genesis Six Conspiracy, How Secret Societies and the Descendants of Giants Plan to Enslave Humankind. Awesome, awesome. Can you tell um, some of the people some motivational things, like, I guess it's been going through it, learning different things, sometimes you get discouraged, I'm sure. Well, what's something that keeps you going on, keeps you full going in towards uh, getting more content, more information? Well, just there's just a never-ending cycle, so it's just the curiosity. It's, it's what's new, what's next, what can I learn, what does that mean, how does that connect. Uh, I, I love doing the detective work, so it's a natural motivation for me to do it. And it matches up with my other passions of Bible prophecy and uh, history and mythology. So I get to sort of combine all of those different passions and loves and do it into uh, detective investigative work and see what I can make of it. If there's someone that's young that's watching and tuning in and they were wanting to get further into the knowledge of education, sure they say read the book more often, yeah. where are some sources maybe you could point them to? To read more books? Or read more education, anything really, just to get more educated. Yeah, I think, I think it's not the book that you read, it's the questions you ask. And I think if you can increase your curiosity and learn to ask questions and don't accept the answers if it doesn't make sense or if it's superficial, and as you become an asker more than an acceptor, then the quality of your questions are going to go up. And when you ask better questions, you get better responses and you understand what's going on better and you can sift through you know, the BS and the, and the truth. Could you tell me some of the things that, like, who motivated you? Who are some of your motivators? Oh, uh, I mean, mostly self-motivated, but, you know, I have a twin brother who uh, was in very much encouraging me on this, and my wife, but uh, who got me going on this path was an author who wrote many books, and his name was Hal Lindsey, and so he, he got me on my path back to God and my love and passion for prophecy. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. My name is Andy Fuller. The building here that you're in is, uh, belongs to Youth Incorporated. It's a local nonprofit. And uh, we started a coffee house in 04. So we've been doing coffee house. We usually are open just for shows and for special events. We're not usually open during the day to customers. And uh, But we, it's pretty much a full service coffee house with everything you can imagine from foo foo drinks to plain old coffee. So, yeah, what's the most uh, normally ordered uh, beverage? I guess? Probably a um, caramel or mocha. What's beer. your favorite? What's my favorite? Just old black coffee. Black coffee, <laughs> yeah. huh? Yeah. So how long have you been in business then? Uh, since 2004. 2004. Yeah. Um, if you were to talk to some people that were younger, trying to motivate them to go ahead and go forward, go through whatever it is, whatever they're trying to do, whether it be opening a business or 
for founding at their craft, what, what kind of advice would you give them? Uh, well, do the research, find out what you got to have to do it with, and um, the biggest thing is work ethic, and once you start something, you gotta, you got to put your hand to it and not quit. Could you tell me about your work ethic You'll a little have, bit? Well, I just don't quit. Yeah. I don't know whether that's a, that sometimes that maybe isn't a good work ethic, but the biggest thing is, you know, we tend to get discouraged easy, and, and uh, nobody wins, nobody is successful, whether it's sports or business or, or what it is, or academics. And, you know, if you get discouraged and quit, you're just not going to succeed. And so have you always been uh, this way, going to just, just going after it and getting things done, or is it something that just come after a while? Were you born came, with this? Or? No, I don't think so. I mean, I was always, growing up, I was always willing to take a chance and, uh, you know, take a risk on things, you know, do things that maybe other people weren't willing to do or afraid to do. But, but um, um, I'd say no, I haven't always been gung-ho. And, uh, to go out there and do it. If, uh, if people were looking for you on social media, where could they find you? Oh my gosh. Uh, you can find us, uh, I think it's Wired, Wired, Wired Coffee House or Wired Coffee House. There's a couple of Facebook pages, poorly maintained. And um, we have a radio station also, 96.9 FM. I think it is also on Facebook, social media. What was the radio well. station again? 96.9 FM. Um, if it's somebody wanted to submit... WYIR.com is the website. If someone wanted to submit music to your radio station, what should they have to do to do Basically, so? just uh, send it to send it to Andy, A-N-D-Y, at WYIR.com. Awesome. Thank you yeah. so much. You said we were